Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome back to our studios a good friend of SSP TV. He is known for his financial advice. He is also known for being the producer of the documentary, The Voice of John, and he is a best-selling author. Here now to talk about not his first, not his second, but his third best-selling book. I'm talking about Don Gallade, and the new book is called Awoken, Conspiracy or Theory, and it hit the Amazon Kindle bestseller charts in the US, the UK, Australia, Canada and Japan within the first two weeks of being released. Don, congratulations on the book's success. I bet you're excited. I am, and and I want to thank you for uh, for having me on. It's always it's always a pleasure to be invited back. Uh, I'm quite humbled actually by the how how fast it it scaled up the charts, and um, you know, getting on the charts is one thing, but staying there is the hard part. But um, it's it, it's interesting because there's many many categories on the Amazon books uh, charts. So you have you have uh, the, the Bible category, you have the theology category. So we hit, you know, not only bestseller in the main categories, we also hit some of the lower ones, if you will, too. So it's, it's pretty neat, it's pretty exciting. So it's called Awoken Conspiracy or Theory. And you told right. me it's political and biblical. So tell me what you mean by that. <laughs> Well, it's it's funny, Lisa. You know, I, I've I've always been um, really enamored with studying the Book of Revelation, and and when you when you study with the right teachers, I guess you really get a good handle on what's going on. And uh, my wife and I went to Israel last year. We were there for Israel for a week and Jordan for three days, which is that that we could talk for weeks about that. But um, I've always been a conspiracy. I guess nut, if you will. You know, I think it probably started when we were kids in the JFK conspiracy thing. But I started to realize that a lot of the conspiracies that we were told were conspiracies, first of all, we're realizing in the past two years are true. And and then I was even more enamored, I guess, when I started to realize that some of this stuff ties into the book of Revelation. And when I take it a step farther, and started to look at the uh, uh, every president in the past hundred years has actually had a role to play, whether they knew it or not, in where we are today, not only politically, but also biblically. And, and it all ties together. And it's really exciting. Um, the book basically is broken down into four parts. The first one, we talk a lot about what Rockefeller really was about. And, and that's eye-opening. Uh, we talk about all of the presidents in the past hundred years. We talk about the conspiracies, uh, you know, uh, a lot of those organizations. And then we talk about what's called the seven pillars. And the seven pillars is our, our entire world can be broken down into seven categories. You have education, arts, business, family, science, government, and religion. And not only are all of those referenced in the Bible, there are also areas where Satan targets all of those. And when you tie it all together, and that's kind of what I tried to do in the book, is to split it up, give you an education, and then bring it back together. It's actually kind of exciting, Lisa. I know it sounds like we're in these horrible, horrible times. But when you see it's basically good versus evil from day one in the Garden of Eden until the last day when Jesus comes back. If People watching this right now say, I want to read the book. How did they get a, a copy of the book? Uh, they can get it off of the Amazon uh, book link. It's it's called Awoken uh, Conspiracy or Theory. If you just Google that, because we hit the charts, that was pretty cool. If you just Googled those words, Awoken Conspiracy or Theory, it comes up automatically. Um, if they Googled my name, it comes up. Um, they can reach out to my office at uh, 501-1200. That's area 570. I'll send them a link. Um, and it's uh, we're hoping to do a book signing soon. I mean, it's funny because the case of books that I got in that, that are basically my copies, they say not for resale on them, just for me to give out. The book hit the charts by the time I opened up the case. So I didn't even see it 
it was it was fairly kind of cool. Like I didn't even see what the actual physical copy looked like until I was getting notified by Amazon and all these different uh, different uh, sections of the, the charting that they have. Has there been reaction from people who have read it who commented back to you? Like, what have you gotten as far as feedback? So far, all of the comments I got are positive. Um, there, there's, there was one person that you know gave me a really, really low star rating on the. Uh, he didn't say, or he or she didn't say anything. But um, I think you know, I it, it's written in a way where I, I'm not saying like uh, you have to take my word for it. It's like here's the truth. This is what we can prove with conspiracy stuff. This is what we can prove with what God said. This is what we can prove what's going on politically and in the world systems. Um, and then you can make your own decisions. So it's not like something I'm going to stuff down your throat to say you must accept this. Um, it it kind of just gives you the education and then it just leads you into the uh, making your own decision. But the seven pillars that, that I mentioned, that's, that's really the, the thrust of it because the religion pillar is where satan is attacking the most right now and i don't even we don't have enough time to to review we all know what's going on in the, in the religious communities um but that's where he's putting all of his thrust because he knows his time is limited so i've had people say well i don't want to listen about the end of times well that's not what the book's about and people say, well i don't want to listen about conspiracy theories well that's not what the book's about well, I don't want to listen about money. Well, guess what? It's about all of it combined. That's that's what makes it kind of cool is it's all of these very, very heavy topics put together and orchestrated together to say they all actually work off of each other. When you see just the section on the presidents uh, alone, um, you know, uh, what, what each of them have done, whether it was nefarious or not, I'm not saying, but each president did something that ended up like, for example, Reagan deregulated many things that allowed some of the stuff we're seeing happen right now. Bush created the Patriot Act, which allowed some of the stuff we're seeing right now. And, and when we break it down by president and you see that you know, I'm ashamed I voted for some of the people after I started researching. And I'm and I'm I'm a card carrying Republican and I'm saying I'm ashamed to vote for some of those people as well. Because it's just it, we all have skin on our on our bodies and it's human nature. We it is what it is, you know. But when you see what each person had done, you can see the big picture uh as far as how we got where we are right now. 